Hey, Shalom. First of all, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukwakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honors up to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me the truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low with the videos, edifying, low with the I came to get something from this video. I'm going to get uh, this scripture really quick, man, and uh, and basically, you know, make a video wrapped around this scripture, you know, um, because it's, it's people in the world that think that worldly possessions could, you know, um, get them out of situations like even Esau in the time to come. You know what I mean? They think that their worldly possessions as far as money, right, that they use to buy bunkers and, you know, things that they set up, right? Think They think that it's going to stop judgment from happening to them or somewhat alter judgment and it's not the case it's not the case at all you're not going to be able to negotiate with the lord you know and for our people right uh you know men and women you know it's not worldly possessions is not it's not uh things to be cherished or worship you understand that the lord bless you the lord bless you but understand the lord bless you scriptures say that he giveth and he could take it he could take away you know, you got people who will get possessions and you got people who will get things and become proud. You know, that's that flesh. And then start being disrespectful and all kind of shit, man. You know what I mean? And the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. You always, always, always need to remember that. So we always have to remain humble because scriptures say what? You know, the beginning of the pride is when you depart from the most high. Okay, the beginning of the pride. Scriptures also say what? Lay your treasures up in heaven where rust nor mouth can't corrupt. Neither were nor were thieves can break through and steal. Okay? Because what you have here can be snatched from your ass. You know? So really, you know, niggas uh, uh, do all this shit to get worldly possessions, right? And I ain't saying there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's something wrong with having nice things. Like I have nice things. Brothers have nice things, right? I'm not saying that. You know, but we understand that getting this wisdom in 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 you know making ourselves right with the Lord is, is far above any riches that um, this world can can have and any in this examples in the scriptures that give you that if you look in the book of Maccabees right they offer uh, Matthias right they offer what um, they offer riches they offer possessions for him to turn away from the Lord look at Daniel right yeah Daniel was set up on a higher statue in, in, in Babylon but he got it through serving the Lord. He didn't get it through serving uh, Nebuchadnezzar. <coughs> you know, he didn't get it through serving, you know, the king of Babylon. He got it through serving the Lord, and, but the Lord blessed him through men. Okay, by what? Serving the Lord. So you serve the Lord, everything else will be added to you. Everything you need to be added to you, man. You know, but you have people who in this world who still get blessings, right, and don't know the Lord. Just like it says in Second Esther, the knife chapter you know and it's and it's 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 a motherfucking shame especially if you know brother like if you know a brother or if you a woman with a brother and you know and um you know you you throw you throw blessings inside that on, on that you know in front of that brother face or you know or or you uh you know you just being wicked man the lord will judge you man the Lord will judge you, man. You know? The Lord will judge you niggas. You understand? And then, and then boom. And then what? Then a, a scripture from the, that brother that you know will pop up be your mind. Like, oh, man. Yeah, he said that. He said that. You know, but you got people who deliberately want to be proud. You got people who do it just to like, you know, just to, and it's crazy, man. It's fucking wild to see and to hear. Especially those who know us or who are with us, right? You know what I mean? And, and throw it in our face and knowing who we are. Like the Lord ain't, like the Lord don't count the tears. Like the Lord don't see what the fuck going on. <coughs> you know? Come on, man. You can have some type of mercy on you by giving to a brother. You know what I mean? Giving it's such things as giving alms, man. And I'm not saying like, you know, I just give brothers. I'm not saying. I'm just saying like, you know, just you got friends of the prophets. They ain't friends for no reason. 
You know what I mean? They're not friends for no reason, man. They're not, you know. They're not friends for no. It's it's a help, man. Because what we're this is a we're pushing this thing, man. We're not this is we're pushing it. Okay, we pushing it and we fighting the world at the same time. Okay, but ultimately the Lord got us, man. We ain't got to really worry about nothing, to be honest with you. But this is Luke 12 and 15. It says, and he said unto them, take heed and beware of, of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the thing which he possesseth. Okay? Yeah, man's life don't consist in it. It's not what you possess, man. Because when I go here, let me go here really quick. I did a video on this uh, a couple weeks ago. But let me I think it's a four. Um. Like, yeah. This is a uh, Sirach four and um, uh, where is it at, man? Um, uh, bear with me first. This is a, so I'll get this. I mean, this is Sirach 4 and, and 15. It says, Whoso giveth ear unto her, which is Sophia, wisdom, shall judge the nations. Okay? It says, And he that attendeth, which is what? That means what? You're blessed. And he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. Okay? Those people, people in the world who don't have any wisdom or don't want any wisdom or don't want to serve the Lord or don't give the Lord reverence or anything like that. You don't listen, man. Your shit be is going you you going to burn up with it. Okay? It says if a man commit himself unto her, uh uh he shall inherit her and his generation shall hold her in possession. Possession. Yeah. It says um it says uh I'm going to jump down. It says uh I'm going to jump down to 20. It says observe the opportunity and beware of evil. Be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. So uh, it's an opportunity, man. Because this opportunity, right, to serve the Lord can lead you to get salvation. Which salvation is going to be the number one thing that you're going you're gonna to want in the time to come. See, right now, people are comfortable. They're set on their leaves. <laughs> right? Nothing's really, you know, happening, happening. It's happening, but it's not really happening to where it's making people panic. But it's about to. Right? And, but... So right now, people are, are, are setting their ways to do evil, right? But when it happens, okay, the number one thing you people are going to want is salvation, okay? And you're going to wish that you had some type of works. You're going to wish that you didn't, you didn't, you put more work into serving the Lord than, than boasting in the things that you have, okay? It's not about what you have, man, if you don't have the truth. It's not about that, man. Let me grab this really quick. Second Ezra 9 and 11, it says, Nope, I started uh, 9. It says, Second Ezra 9 and 9. It says, Then shall they be in the, in the in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such in their life ha have received benefits. They have not known me. Yeah, they have received benefits. You received blessings, but you have not known the Lord. It said you trusted in Egypt. <laughs> you trusted in the pressure. Okay? It says, 11, it says, and they, he don't give you shit without no, without, without, you know, without benefiting twice as much for it. Okay? It says, uh, I mean, you can look at that with interest rates and things of that nature, you know? It says, 11, it says, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. And these people don't want to understand it. Okay, they despise it through their mouth. They despise it through their incredulity. They, they, they despise it through their actions. Okay, so we can give a fuck about, you know, what, what happens to you in these times to come. Okay, because you should know better, man, especially if you know us. And you know the truth. Okay? You should you should know, man. Oh, let me grab this real quick. Let 
Yeah, Matthew 6 and 20. It says, um, uh, 6 and 20 says, but lay up your, for your treasures, but lay up for your treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through in nor steal. Okay? So that's, that's security. Okay, that's when things are actually going to be ours, from the tangible things that we have to our women to because right now i mean you ain't getting no i mean some brothers might got you know a woman that it was her first time with that man right but you know for i think for the mass majority of us i mean we getting used goods man we getting women who who'd have been you know beat wall to wall <laughs> you know what i mean and then she come get you the shit you know what i'm saying so it was like I mean, we living at a, I mean, we living at a, there's no reason for us to be proud, man. We living at a, a level of a filth, man. Really. If you really sit back and analyze and think about it, we, we living with, I mean, it's to the point to where like, you know, you, you gotta wear, you, you nervous if you don't wear protection, like nervous, like nervous for, you know, sometimes for the women you even know that you deal with, you know? It's like that because you we live in a fuck that that much of a fucked up world, you know, to where like and you're going to get tested because you you nervous, you know, you not feeling right. You throw hurt. You know what I'm saying? You just <laughs> you know what I mean? You just like, damn, <clears throat> you know, and it, and it's all off the back of these how nasty these uh, these bitches is and how nasty the society is, man. OK, that's what it is, man. That's what it is, you know. So what we got to move smarter. We got to be wiser. Yeah, we have learning experiences, right? But we got to move smarter and be wiser. But right now, while we're in this captivity, but in the time to come, man, in the kingdom, what's ours is going to be ours, man. Okay, and it's no, it's, it's not going to be any more of this shit. Okay, this shit, gonna, this shit, this fashion of this world should pass away, man. Okay, the fashion of this world is going to be done. Okay, no more of, of the fashion of this world, man. Right, because what does it say in Isaiah the second chapter? Let's get it real quick. It says, uh, Isaiah two and two, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established at the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So this is to come. Okay, this is to come. This is when that new fashion, right? Which is the law, statutes, and commandments, which is going to be written in us, right? So therefore, we are, we're not going to be able to go off, right? This is when that is going to come into play. And the world is going to have to live by the lost lost that's your commandments. And the elect is going to police it. Okay? So with that, man, Lord and Vito's edifying. Lord and you brothers got something for this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. Hawa, Bahashimi, Hawa, Shai. Bahashimi, Rokha, Kadash. I want to tell you brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.